Hello everyone and welcome to the video. In this one I'm going to be showing you how to account for a loan that has been made to a staff member that the staff member will then be repaying you over a period of weeks out of their pay packet. So an employee may have came to you and asked if you can lend them say four and a half thousand dollars because they had some unexpected bills coming up and they have asked if they could get a loan from you and deduct one hundred dollars each week out of their pay packet to pay it back this employee has been very loyal to you so you want to help them so you agree to it the other instance this can be used is for an advance on pay which is similar in that if you don't know what their pay is going to be this week yet because you haven't receive their timesheet and they've asked for like a round figure that is different to their usual pay net pay amount like say a thousand dollars you can use this technique for that as well so what we are essentially doing is loaning the employee money whether it's a loan like in the first example or an advance in the second example where in both instances we would treat it as a loan for this purpose so let's have a look at our staff list. And we will say that in this example, the loan has been made to Odette Garrison. So I've duplicated the screen here and we're going to have a look in the first instance of the actual payment being made to the employee. So we'll pretend this payment here, four and a half thousand, was the loan made to Odette. So we'll enter that here. Odette Garrison. Now we have to put it somewhere. And it's not part of the usual wage. And we want to track this separately on the balance sheet. So we're going to create an account. So I'll go back to this screen. We don't need that anymore. And we will go to chart of accounts and when the, you or the business makes a payment to or a loan to someone that they are going to pay back to you that is an asset to you because it's money coming back to you it's still your money so we're going to set up a current assets I'll pick a number in sequence here we'll call it 625 that's available, very good, and it's going to be called Loan Odette Garrison. We'll save that. We'll go back to the bank rec. Now we need to refresh this. I jumped the gun here when I was going to do the reconciliation. We need to refresh it so that the account I just created will now be selectable in the drop down list. So we'll do this again Odette. The new account is Loan Odette Garrison. And we'll say here, uh, Business Lent Odette $4,500. She will repay $100 per week from wages. And I will click OK. Now what we can do, we can have a look at the balance sheet. So we'll go have a look at the balance sheet and we'll see that $4,500 as a current asset now in our accounts. Have to change the date. There it is, loan Odette, $4,500. Now what we have to do before we process the next payroll where, where she will make her first repayment is set up the back end payroll settings for the deductions that are going to come out of her pay each week. So we'll go settings, payroll settings, pay items, deductions, and we'll go add, other, and so it's clear on the pay slip, we'll call it loan repayment, Odette. So from her perspective, she can see what she's doing what it means on her pay slip. So now we need to select that 625 account that we created, Loan Odette Garrison. Now these settings down here, we do not want it to affect her pay to go withholding, so we won't click that. 
We do not want it to affect her super guarantee, so we won't click that. And we do not want it to affect the W1, which is the gross wages on the activity statement. So we will click this to say, yes, it is excluded from the gross wages because it's not a wage as such, it's a loan repayment, even though it's coming out of the payroll. We'll click add. Now we can go process the first payroll, which will have a repayment on it. Pay employees. Add pay run. Weekly. Next. We'll go have a look at Odette here. All right, we can see there's a bit going on. Let's just make it simple and say she was working a full-time week, 38 hours. 798 dollars gross minus 100 pays you go withholding for super 7182 so when we're looking at those settings for the deductions in the payroll settings how i said we do not want pays you go or super to be affected we want to test that so what i'm going to do is take a quick screenshot so we can come back and check that everything is working the way we want it to work so this is her payroll here. Now we need to add the $100 repayment out of her payroll. Loan repayment, Odette, fixed amount, OK. And we'll insert $100 here. So $698 should go down to $598. Yes, it has. Now if we look at that screenshot, pay as you go should be $100. It should still be 100. There it is there. Pay as you go, 100, unchanged. And the super, 7182, that should also be unchanged. And it is unchanged at 7182. So we're happy with that. We're going to click save. And now we're going to post this pay run. Okay. So when she gets her pay slip, she will see that her normal pay is 798. And then there's a deduction, loan repayment of 100 and the pay as you go and super as normal. So if we go have a look at the balance sheet now and we refresh this, this 4,500 amount on loan should reduce to 4,400 because she has now repaid $100 out of her pay packet. So let's refresh that and see if this works. There it is, 4400 exactly what we want to see. And if we click into the ledger, we will see there it is, the $4,500 initial loan being paid and the $100 repayment out of her pay run. So this will continue for the next 44 weeks until this net amount 4,400 reduces to zero. Now, if this was not a uh, like a large loan as such, but more just an advance on pay, if a debt comes to you and says, hey boss, can you advance me 500 bucks on my pay this week? What you would do in that instance this amount here would have been the 500 bucks and on the balance sheet would have had 500 and then you would have done the 100 here to bring the 500 down to 400 it's the same concept this is the way to do it if you don't want to kind of have timing differences in your wages payable account if you want to keep everything clear on the balance sheet of um, where things stand as far as employee loans and advances and that sort of thing this is the cleanest way to do it in that respect now because this is continuing for 44 weeks to get this 4400 down to zero you might even want to update her pay template so i'll show you how to do that so we'll go odette pay template add deduction Loan repayment Odette, fixed amount, okay, 100, save that. 
Now every time you do a pay run, it's automatically going to bring up this $100 deduction. So you don't have to remember to add it each time you do the pay run. You'll just have to make sure that when this 4400 is paid back in full, that you then remove it from the pay template so you don't accidentally keep subtracting $100 from her net pay. So you won't be happy with that. Anyway, that's it for the video, guys. I hope I've been able to show you a couple of things here. If you're interested in a one-on-one -on -one training session over Zoom, you can head over to our website. There's a link in the description, qtraining.net.au. You can book in a training session there with us where we can show you anything that you want to be shown. Also, we're rolling out some course content on our website, so you can go check that out as well if you are interested in that. Otherwise, I hope you learned something here. We'll catch you later.